Hello traders, new year, new blessing, new grace and new opportunities. Never allow the failures of the past to rob you of the blessings in the new year. So we are going to talk today on new year resolutions. But first of all, I'd like to wish all of our traders here in the trading room and of course all of you that are following us in the social media, Happy New Year. This is a great time of the year. The spirit of the holidays is hanging there and you could actually feel it and touch it. So on my behalf and on traded behalf, I'd like to wish each and every one of you a happy new year. May every day of the new year glow with good cheer and happiness and health combined with wealth, of course, for you and your family. So t today I'd like to take a moment and reflect about 2017. Actually, I'll suggest you a couple of common elements traders need to focus when the new year is right here as we d make our uh, first steps um, inside the new year. So farewell 2017 and warm welcome 2018. So the clock has already approached midnight on December 31st and it is good to reflect upon the year as a whole. So as we, we wrap up the 2017 calendar year, we have to admit it was an amazing year, a year that is, you know, eligible to the title, the Stokes year, you know, a year with numerous historical highs in the Dow Jones and the S&P 500, the S&P 500, um, went up more than 20% year to date and, uh, and the Nasdaq was up more than 31% for the entire year of 2017. Look for 2018, which starts today, um, to start off with a bang. And, and if it mimics the start of, of last year at all, you know, we can make another strong run for the first few months of trading. So the first trading day today on January 2nd should give us a lot of insight as the big money initiates new positions and that should give you the directional play for um, the intermediate term. Now, it is essential and only justice to yourself to look at who you are as a trader. How was the trading year of 2017 for you truthfully did you stick to your trading plan do those demons you asked to read yourself off at the beginning of the year still exist did you progress and grow as a trader and if you are truly dedicated to your personal development as a trader you will boldly brushly and honestly answer these questions you know, personally, um, each year when I review the year and grade myself as a trader, I tend to be a bit harsh and it stems, it stems from my mother. I remember being in the third grade, having received a, a, a B grade on a social studies examination and, and having to take it home to get signed by my parent. And my mother glanced at the exam and asked, what is this? Not really, you know, the reaction I expected from a big grade, but she signed it and said, Shlomo, don't come into this house with anything less than an A. And needless to say, my mother set the tone of nothing below excellence. Luckily, I was a straight A student um, throughout my school years. Otherwise, that would have been, you know, a lot of extra courts around the house. So. As you evaluate your 2017 trading year, be sure to identify some elements of your trading that you need to improve upon. And write this down on a sticky note and keep it on your trading desk. Stick multiple sticky notes throughout your home, in your car, on your you know, refrigerator, on your bathroom mirror, I don't care. The daily reminder of these elements keeps us focused on progression and growth. It, it's a big help because you can easily deviate away from the focus as the year progresses and therefore missing out um, our mission in, in the trading world. So I'd like to share, uh, to, to share with you if, you, if you let me, 
a few common elements that traders typically having a need um, to focus on. First, more time in the chair, less in front of the computer screen. We all understand the importance of time in the chair. However, there is a difference between time in the chair and simply sitting in a chair. Just because you spend 10 hours at your computer does not mean that all 10 hours were counted towards the 10,000 hours needed to be a professional at any subject, at any field. Some traders feel the need to be at the computer screen nearly 24 hours each day. In actually, this can be more harmful than beneficial because the more you sit and stir at the chart, the more prone you are to talking yourself into a trade. So focus on the time in the chair and not just sitting in the chair. And keep it simple. This is the second one. You know, traders have a tendency to overthink. Don't. You know, no, no need to make things more complicated than they need to be, you know. So minimize your thinking. Ju just focus on trading. Do what you are supposed to do when you are supposed to do it. And third one is sticking to the plan. You know, you, you, your trading plan was created, written, and developed for a reason, you know, to keep your emotions in check and to provide a forced discipline upon yourself while trading the market. So don't deviate away from it, stick to it. Whatever the year 2017 brought for you as a trader, the good, the bad, the indifferent, improve it. You know, use your weaknesses to create new strengths. Use your strengths to remind yourself just how good of a trader you are today and use the indifferent to realize just how far you still need to go. Happy New Year, traders. Bye-bye.